There's a, several up on top, at point three, there's two in the trap, there's one there. And there's another it's one just there. before dawn on a wildlife reserve south of Bristol, and I join a team of volunteers preparing to check badger traps set overnight. It's the start of a four-year project by Avon Wildlife Trust, who want to show that vaccination is a better way to control bovine TB in badgers than culling. 30 traps were baited with peanuts. The result, 15 badgers vaccinated, including four cubs. Okay. You can't really see it very clearly, but there's a blue mark on the back. So we know those are two we caught yesterday. We're really lucky to have a lot of volunteers who are desperate to help to conserve badgers, who are happy to come out and give their time to you know, save the animals that they're, they're absolutely passionate about. And actually, if you look at the cost of vaccinating, it's a fraction of the cost of the cull um, because of all, all of the work that has to be involved in, in shooting badgers. It's, that's more labour intensive than vaccination. Vaccination costs around £300 per badger, including 40 for the vaccine itself. The cull in 2017 cost the taxpayer about the same, though most of the cost is borne by the cull companies. So why continue with the cull at all? Within the high-risk area, NFU certainly supports the cull as the most cost-effective and quickest way to get on top of the disease that's so devastating to, to livestock farmers. It's potentially livelihood ending um, for some businesses, but it's also something that we've managed to let get out of control and we need to stamp on it pretty quickly now. Badger culling now takes place across the whole of the southwest, except the old Avon area, though an application's been made. Avon Wildlife Trust hopes to raise £20,000 and work with farmers to vaccinate all the animals here to keep them alive and healthy. Sally Challoner, BBC Points West.